Waterbury's Holy Land was once a biblical amusement park where an iconic cross rested. That land now has been neglected for years, but now a restoration project is underway. News 8's Stephanie Simone has a look at the progress. Driving through Waterbury's Holy Land, it doesn't look sacred, but forgotten. Once you get to the top, oh, it's tight, real tight. You start to see progress. Mike Bernabe is a local electrician. Every time I went away, it's nice to see the cross. I know I was home. So it looked nice. I want it to look nice again. This is the old cross that used to tower over the brass city. But don't worry, they're getting a new one, and we're getting a sneak peek. It will be lit like the original from the 1950s with 4,500 color changing LED lights, similar to how Joe Pisani remembers it as a kid. A family, uh, uh, since they came over from Italy, lived in Waterbury, directly underneath the cross on, on Pleasant Street. Pisani Steel is in charge of construction. The plans show it will stand 52 feet tall, 26 feet wide. The beams alone are six feet across and three feet deep. So it's, uh, it's humbling, um, it's um, uh, an inspiration um, that we're able to take part in something so iconic. He says when it's completed, it will be worth nearly $400,000. A lot of the work and materials are donated. The rest of it is paid through donations. Just like to see it done and lit. Everybody will enjoy it, I think. Uh, it'll be an emotional moment for, I think, everyone in Waterbury. It's a community effort to get Holy Land to live up to its name. In Waterbury, Stephanie Simone, News 8.